All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is it, Shalom, to the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, I want to go in this lesson on basically, you know, how in Houston, the landlords are demanding rent from the tenants, okay? As you can see, this the title of this uh, article. I have four articles here. I just wanted to go through uh, some of the pictures and uh, just, you know, skim through it, okay? Just to do this quick video, okay? It says, we have lost everything, okay? In quotation marks, it says, Houston landlords demanding rent from tenants who cannot return to their flooded homes. And why am I not surprised? Okay. You look at this situation. Okay. Uh, the house is gone. Okay. You have a car. People people have uh, car payments and stuff that they have to pay for. Okay. Rent, rent, rental insurance. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's in this, these houses that people... You know no longer have okay and on top of this okay the fact that this house is gone the landlords are saying you know that people need to pay their rent okay and um i'm gonna just go through some uh pictures okay and you know uh i'll uh hit hit some points or whatever and uh and uh, the the articles, okay. But as you can see right here, okay, this house is flooded. You know, this person probably was a hoarder or whatever. You know, and you know, it's trash and everything like that that's in the house, okay. Um, let me see. Okay, this house is flooded. Okay. Uh, car flooded, okay, P a lot of people, you know, and it looks like that's a lot of Jake in, in this, this place, man, just, you know, uh, from the, the, the looks of things, man, it looks like it's a lot of Jake up in this, uh, you know, it looks like an auditorium, okay, um, people, uh, sleeping on cots and stuff, okay, once again, uh, flood, okay, can't even go back to your house, but your landlord wants some goddamn money, okay, and this is a good picture also, okay, the houses all joined together, okay, now, to hit some points in the, uh, the article, it says, uh, as Houston cleans up the devastation caused by Hurricane Harvey, renters who escaped with only the clothes on their backs are being pressed by landlords to pay rent on their water damaged homes that are unlivable. According to the Guardian, some Houston landlords are unsympathetic to the horrific position some of their tenants are in, saying that they are suffering too. Speaking with the Guardian, Houston resident Rico Fuentes explained that prior to Harvey, her family budget was tight. Now they are homeless and the landlord still wants his monthly rent. Okay, and there was an article um, where it said that the uh, the landlords wanted their rent. They're asking for rent, but then they're also asking for late fees also. Okay, and it's the person, uh, Rico or Rocio, Rocio Fuentes. Okay, who who's uh, saying this? Okay, according to the uh, Guardian. Okay, now it says uh, at first we didn't think it would be that bad, but then water came through the wall and up through the carpet. Fuentes explained, once we saw that water wasn't going to stop, we left. Okay, the mother of five. This woman is five. You know, has five children. Ages ranges from seven months to fourteen years was saved from the floodwaters by her mother who rescued them in a the truck. Now the whole family is staying with her sister. Okay? 
Now, <clears throat> it says, our landlords say we have to pay rent and late fees every day, and every day it is it is going up. We are paying rent for somewhere that we can't live in. They said you aren't the only ones in this situation, but what are we supposed to do? We don't have any money. We don't have anything. Okay, it says there are an estimated 180,000 houses in the Houston area have been uh, severely damaged and laws governing paying rent do not work in the renter's favor. Okay, it says if a rental, according to the report, if a rental premises, if a rental premises is totally unusable due to an external disaster, then either the landlord or tenant can exterminate, I mean, can terminate the lease through written notice. But if the property is partially unusable because of a disaster, a tenant may only get a reduction in rent determined by a county or district court. Okay. It says another woman, Isela Bazada, was taken to court by her landlord to evict her after the hurricane hit. You know, so these landlords, man, they don't give a fuck about you know, uh, people, they just want their money, man. Okay. They don't, they don't care about, uh, um, the situation that the house may be in. Okay. All of this stuff that you, that you have right here, they, they, they want it. Okay. They, they, they want their money from off of that. Okay. Um, uh, going into the scriptures is Micah two and one. Woe unto them was the word woe means destruction. That divides iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. To it is in the power of their hand, and they covet fields. Okay, with these houses, you know they're built on uh, on fields. Okay, they're built on um, on land. Okay, and then they they put the house on top of it. Okay, on top of this land, and they still have property tax and, you know, so on and so forth. So, even if you own the house, you still don't own the house. Okay. Um, it says, they covet fields. They take them by violence. Okay, the, the like, like that lady, she got evicted. Okay, she was taken to court by her landlord to get evicted after the, the hurricane got uh, take, what, what hit. Okay. It says, uh, and, and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, right? That That's that landlord, okay? Paying bills and, and, and dying, okay? Even a man in his, in his heritage, okay? Because it might have been a house that you might have, you know, your family might have, you know, paid for, for rent for, for or, or owned the house, okay? They might have they might have paid paid uh in good use, you know. They they might have been uh a um they might have been paying uh good, okay, to to uh to whoever they uh owe that money to, okay. It might this house might have been passed down from your grandmother to your mother to you know so on and so forth, and then as soon as you can't make a payment, what do they do? Uh foreclosure or oh you're getting evicted, okay? And that's wicked, man. The Lord is going to destroy them people in that, that type of mindset, okay? It's Isaiah 5 and 8. Woe unto them, which means, woe means destruction, unto them that join house to house, that lay field to field till there be no place. And when you look at this picture, you know, it ain't, it ain't no no uh, place, man. You know, you, you might be sitting up there thinking, oh, my neighbor... You know, the houses might not be connected, but you're still close to your neighbor in proximity, man. You know, or you even got to be close in proximity because a lot of these houses, you know, this just this is just one picture, man. A lot of houses, they, they are next to each other, man, especially houses that's that's in the hood, man. OK, it says uh, that they may be, may be placed alone in the midst of the earth, you know, so these Houston is a is a place is a, uh, a place that has a lot of people, man, is you know, extremely populous, okay, and I got this last scripture, it's Proverbs 22 and 22, it says, rob not the, not the poor, okay, and that's what's going on, because these people are poor, it says, because he is poor, neither op oppress the afflicted in the gate, and when you go into this word afflicted, 
Okay, it says poor, afflicted, humble, wretched, poor, needy, poor and weak, poor, weak, afflicted, wretched, wretched, lowly. Okay, it says depressed in mind or circumstances. And, you know, that hurricane is one of them circumstances that, you know, the, the people got afflicted by. Okay, it says uh, neither oppressed or afflicted in the gate. For the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushah, will plead their cause and spoil the soul of those that spoiled them. Okay? And, and that spoiling is going to be when these people get destroyed from off of that, that oppression that these people were doing, man. Okay? These landlords, going, landlords are going to get destroyed, man, because they, they don't have proper judgment. Okay? They probably don't even give a fuck about trying to help them out. You know, they probably thought that they helped them out as much as they possibly could, you know. But, you know, they looking at it like hey, life life goes on. They probably got uh, payments and stuff that they got to pay and everything like that, you know. But but at the end of the day, you know, these people are oppressing uh, the poor, man. And, and, and the Lord don't take that uh, lightly, man. So with that, man, you know, uh, hopefully this was uh, edifying, man. This is one reason why we got to get the hell up out of this society, man. Because this shit is wicked, man. Okay? Paying rent in the first place, man. Okay? So with that, man, I want to say Salawam.